is nobody talking about the real reason why most UGC creators quit. Getting into UGC kind of has like three stages. First one is when you're like super excited, making content is so new and fun and you're just like so pumped. You don't even care how much you get paid. You don't even care about making gifted collaborations because all you want to do is make this a career and make content. The second stage is when creators realize that UGC is actually a lot of hard work and a lot of skills and knowledge that they have to acquire in order to make UGC a living. The third stage is when most people quit. The initial excitement kind of wears off and then it's just like hard work. And if you stay stuck in like those gifted collaborations or those collaborations where you're not getting paid enough money, you basically burn out and quit. And the best way to make sure that this doesn't happen to you is you have to scale your business, which means you have to stop doing gifted collaborations. You need to learn how to respond when you get inbounds asking you for gifted collaborations so that you turn them into paid deals. And you need to learn how to raise your rate and stand behind those rates so that you can start making more money and it becomes exciting again because you are growing and going somewhere instead of feeling overwhelmed and stuck in one place. And trust me, I know this is not easy because I have been there where I had all these inbounds and collaborations coming my way at lower rates. I was so scared to not accept those in fear that I would have no work that I had a really hard time saying no. But you got to make space for the new to come. If you don't let go of the old and outdated and the stuff that's keeping you busy and overwhelmed, then there is no space for the new that will make you grow. I hope you will take this chi hard and I hope this is going to help you to move to the next level and not quit. Go get them tigers!